What's up, everybody? I'm Diane from Hoax Hollands, bringing you Rabbit Info and Bunnertainment since 2015. Welcome to Rabbit Room Tour, episode number six, the series where I share viewers' rabbit habitats with you to give you ideas for your own bunnies setup. By pure coincidence, all of the setups featured today happen to have the common theme of an entire room devoted to the rabbit. Now, this doesn't mean that you should feel guilty if you have an enclosure for your rabbit and a separate exercise area. That's completely fine. Remember, there's no judgment here. I just want to share setups to give you ideas in a non-threatening way. With that being said, I'm looking for about four or five bunny setups to share in my next episode of Rabbit Room Tour. So if you are interested in submitting photos of your bunny setup, please read the description below for the instructions. Now, let's hop to it. First up is Natalie from Ontario, Canada and her bunny, Penella. Penella comes from the Spanish word meaning sugarcane and Natalie says that's because Penella is just so sweet. Penella is a Netherland dwarf and she is just so stinking adorable, isn't she? Penella is about six months old and Natalie says that it only took about two months for Penella to become completely free roam in her house. So she has her own space with a nice covered litter box. That's a very pretty litter box, by the way. Penella's hay is in there as well, because as most of you know, rabbits tend to eat and poop at the same time. So putting the hay in the litter box can be helpful with litter training and it helps to contain some of the mess as well. I'm really liking that planter that Natalie has in the room, though I do wonder that as Penella grows, is she going to figure out how to get in there and dig in the dirt? Because rabbits absolutely love to dig. Penella has her own bed, looks very comfortable. And just a short hop away in the kitchen, Natalie has a nice raised food and water bowl for Penella. Natalie says that Penella is very attached to the family and follows them wherever they go in the house, loves to lie down right in the middle of the room, and even will hop on their bed in the morning and run circles, dig in the blankets, and put her face right in front of Natalie's to wake her up. Penella sounds like quite the character and is absolutely beautiful as well. Next up, we have Sierra from Florida and her bunny, Bear. Bear is a Holland Lop. Woohoo! Sorry, I try to remain impartial, but those little floppy ears are just so cute. Bear is right around six and a half months old currently, but this video was filmed when Bear was about three months old because that's how long it takes me to make these. I know, I'm terrible. Bear is incredibly playful, as you can see. Packing paper from packages that you might receive is a great toy for most rabbits. They love making the sounds and digging in it and shredding it. It's just lots of fun and it doesn't cost you anything other than ordering items that you probably are ordering anyhow. Sierra has a very large exercise pen set up in her bedroom where Bear is allowed to play. And since Sierra has a very smooth tile flooring in her bedroom, you can see that she added some carpeting so that Bear has plenty of traction. Most rabbits do not like any solid smooth floor such as wood flooring or tile that can be slippery. So having foam mats, blankets, carpeting, fleece fabric, something to give them traction, but yet is washable if there would be an accident is a good idea. Bear has some fantastic enrichment items in her environment, starting with this adorable teepee bed. I love the colors. It looks so cute and Bear looks adorable in it as well. This cardboard playhouse is a great place for Bear to hang out and to hide. I will put links below to this and other items as I am able. Look at all of the toys that Bear has. It looks like there are some apple sticks, pine cone, grass mat, and even some stacking cups. Huh, we've never seen those before, have we? They're pretty much in every one of these videos that I've done. 
Sierra has a plastic tote that she has cut into a litter box for Bear, so Bear can easily hop in, make a mess, yet it's pretty easy to contain thanks to the generous size. The hay is in there as well, so that Bear can do her business and get a snack at the same time. This is a great spacious setup for Bear, and Sierra, I really like the paint color on your wall. Hop on over to the west coast of the United States to California where we meet Millie and her bunny Tutu. Tutu is 10 years old and is a Netherland dwarf, possibly a mix. Millie got Tutu back in 2010 when she was attending graduate school in Canada. I guess that makes Tutu a Canadian bunny. And then they moved to Seattle after she graduated and then to California where they live now. Tutu is basically a free roam bunny, but Millie says that since Tutu really does not like any slippery surfaces, she basically stays in her area on the nice soft fabric. Now, given that Tutu is a senior bunny and is just not as active, they tend to like to sleep more and need more comfort items, Millie has done a great job providing just that. She has carpeting on the floor, topped with some fleece fabric, and she even has some memory foam mats in the areas that Tutu likes to sleep most often. Tutu has some nice soft bedding areas. She likes to hang out in the cardboard box, and she has a couple cardboard hideaways as well. She does have some playful episodes where she will bound through that colorful tunnel that you see. Millie said that she added the fencing around the perimeter just to help protect her wall and her baseboards, and that's a great idea. In the corner, I see a litter box that I have used, well, my rabbits have used. I believe it's sold under the Amakunft brand on Amazon, and I'll put the link below. Millie says that litter box works really great for Tutu because of the grate that keeps her up off of the litter. And I will agree, it's a very generous sized litter box, keeps the bunny up off of the waist, and is pretty easy to clean as well. Millie said that Tutu does have some teeth issues that require regular vet trips, and that is not unusual with rabbits. And as they age, it can be necessary for some rabbits to have their teeth trimmed or to have frequent dental checkups. Millie has provided a variety of toys and materials for Tutu to chew and to keep her entertained. I really like how the area is well lit, it's bright, it's vibrant, it's very cheerful, and I am sure that Tutu is enjoying her senior years in that beautiful environment. Next, let's hop north to Washington to meet Kelly and Dan and their bunny, Charlotte. Look at those lop ears. You may have guessed it, Charlotte is a Holland Lop, and I believe her coloring is orange. Look at the white underneath her chin and the ring around her nose. She looks a lot like my Sunny Jim, only supersized. She's right around five pounds, Kelly says. Charlotte has her own room, but is allowed to free roam when Kelly and Dan can supervise her. They do have two elderly dogs who seem to get along pretty well with Charlotte and Charlotte with them. I like the idea of a baby gate because it allows Charlotte to get to see what's going on but yet is safe from the dogs and the dogs from her. Charlotte shares her bunny room with Kelly for Kelly's aquarium supplies. Kelly's into saltwater aquariums and has 180 gallon, which is incredibly impressive. My largest tank is 30 gallon. For those of you who don't know, I do have an affinity for betta fish and have a few small aquariums. I like how Kelly has some carpeting down on the floor so that Charlotte has traction. She has plenty of items to keep Charlotte entertained. There is another cardboard bunny condo. We're seeing a lot of those today. Charlotte is around two years old and is spayed, but Kelly does have several litter boxes around the room. She says that does cut down on the accidents and that is always a good idea. The larger the area, the more litter boxes that you should have so that your rabbit can find one when they have to do their business. One of the litter boxes that you see, it's a wooden litter box hay rack combo. 
and Kelly has a Rubbermaid tub in there and she said that's a baking rack that you see in there and that helps to elevate Charlotte away from her urine and her poop. And it looks like a wear jumbo scatterless litter box with the grate there. I love the doll bed. I'm guessing that might be an Ikea bed. You see some stacking cups there. Kelly has a couple items from my lop shop, including the pillow bed, and it looks like a drip mat. As prey animals, rabbits are easily scared and they tend to like to hide. And Kelly and Dan have done a great job providing Charlotte with plenty of hiding places. Whether she just wants a cozy place to sleep or the dogs might be annoying her, she has a lot of different areas that she could go and get away from it all and have a nice place where she feels secure. There is a tunnel, there are cardboard hideouts, boxes, and even a little cage enclosure that she could hop into. This is a fantastic bunny room that you have set up for Charlotte. Great job. Finally, let's hop on back to the good old Buckeye State where we have Itza and her four bunnies from right here in Ohio. Itza, who says her name rhymes with pizza, which was a big help by the way, has a massive, fabulous room for her rabbits. Itza's four rabbits are each a different breed, so I thought we'd play a little game to see how good you are with your rabbit breeds. Itza's four bunnies are named Baby, Coco, Bugs, and Daisy. The four breeds that she has are Lionhead, a young continental giant, a Holland Lop, and a Polish Netherland Dwarf mix. Can you match the breed names with the bunnies? All right, let's see how you did. Starting with Baby. Itza says that Baby is a lion head. Now for Coco, what did you guess for her? Coco is a continental giant. I'm guessing a young one since she doesn't look that giant yet. That brings us to Bugs and Daisy. And I'm pretty sure that you can guess which is which since Daisy has the lopped ears and is a Holland Lop and it looks to be a black tort coloring. That makes Bugs the Polish Netherland Dwarf mix. How many of you got them all correct? Good job. This reminds me of one of those hidden picture puzzles where there are so many fascinating things to capture your attention that it's difficult to pick out the individual items. There is so much going on here. First off, I like that she has the clear exercise panels around the perimeter of her room. That's a fantastic way to protect the walls and the baseboards, but yet you still let your wall color show through. So that's fantastic. And the fact that she has separate exercise panels that she can create different sized areas as she needs to. It provides great flexibility. Now, Baby and Coco have been bonded from the start, and so they're fine being together. Bugs and Daisy are more independent, so that's why there's some separation necessary. Itza said that they just all four got spayed. Now, originally she didn't know she had all girls, but she found that out and they are recovering well. Itza is hopeful that once the bunnies recover from their surgeries and the hormones are able to balance and stabilize, which can take a month or two post-surgery, that she can start bonding some of the rabbits together other than Baby and Coco. By the way, Itza has an Instagram. You can follow her and her fabulous bunnies at Little Loafs. Let's begin to dissect the setup, starting with the flooring. It looks like she might have vinyl tiles on the floor, and then you see rugs and blankets to give the bunnies plenty of traction. She has several litter boxes that are the Perina Tidy Cats Breeze boxes, and it looks like some larger tub style litter boxes as well. So the bunnies have plenty of options to choose from. As far as cozy places, there are some super, super cute beds here. Let's start with the giant moccasin or slipper. 
Itza says that came from TJ Maxx. I tell you, you can find some of the coolest stuff at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods. There is a cocoon style bed with banana print fabric. She has an Ikea wooden bed. And that square bed in the back is actually a little pillow that looks like a slice of bread. Who'd have thought they even make something like that? But they sell it on Amazon and I will put the link below if you would like a slice of that. As far as toys and enrichment items, Itza has gone over the top. It's fabulous. Itza has several tunnels and hideouts. There are some wooden double story hideouts that look like castles. Those are really cool. Plenty of toys. I see balls. Looks like some stacking cups, some chewable items. Rabbits love to chew. I just don't know where to look. There's just so many fun items around and I like how Itza has the cords tucked behind the exercise pen panels so that the bunnies can't get to them. It's just a great flexible setup, looks amazing, and it's a fantastic use of a room that gives all of the bunnies plenty of places to play, they're safe, and Itza can adjust the setup as the bunnies become bonded with each other or if they've had enough of each other, she can separate them as well. Those were some terrific setups. You guys amaze me and I really enjoy seeing your rabbit's habitats. If you're interested in submitting your bunny setup for a future episode of Rabbit Room Tour, please check the description below for instructions. For those of you still watching, I have a couple questions that you can answer in the comments below. First of all, which was your favorite setup in today's video? Secondly, for those of you who are bunny owners, what one bunny product do you think is so fabulous that you have to tell all other rabbit owners that this is a must own product? I really would like to know and I think that other viewers might be interested as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and if you aren't already subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We're so close to 100k subs which is amazing. I don't think we'll do it by the end of 2020, which is fitting because 2020 has been a pretty terrible year, right? But perhaps we can start off 2021 on a good note with hitting 100K subs. And thank you to all of you who have continued to support this channel by subscribing and commenting and viewing my videos. I truly appreciate it. See you next time. She has Carpeting on the floor underneath Millie's area. No. <laughs> Welcome to Rabbit Room Tour episode number six. This is episode number six, right? Why do I always forget? Okay, let's check. Um, rabbit Room Tour, yes. Okay, it's number six. <laughs> Had to check. If you're interested in submitting your rabbit setup for the next episode of Rabbit Room Tour, there are descriptions in the instructions below. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> there are descriptions. No, there are not descriptions in the instructions. Scratch that and reverse it. Do you like my new monitor wallpaper? I think the snow's pretty cool. And it's quite fitting because as I look out the window here at the end of November, it is sleeting right now.